Okay, guys, here we are. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how do you replace traces. These lines here that go from like a point A to point B, they're like traces. So, you know, like they're it's actually they're like flat wire, really, going from one point to another on a, on a clad board. Uh, we call them traces because when you etch it out, you know, of course, it traces the circuit uh, diagram for you. And, uh, well, not for you, but the way you got it drawn out and you can, uh, from the opposite side, run your parts through. As you see these little bumps here, these are these are from leads of from parts on the other side of this board here. Like, I'm going to show you here. Right on the other side of here, you have all kinds of uh, parts there. And they're stuck in the board from the top. And then when you get to the bottom, their leads are showing, you know, uh, cut off there. And they're... In, in order to attach them to the traces, we just solder, you know, like like this hole, these holes are empty. You can actually take a, like a transistor or whatever put through there, and then you solder it. When you solder this here, it brings that part or uh, uh, electronic component into the circuit, see. So, unlike a um, breadboard where you can plug stuff in and plug pull it out, these boards like this are more of a permanent feature, you know, once you put the part in and solder it, it's a permanent fixture, so. Uh, so today we're just going to, uh, and I'm going to try to repair a trace. See, do I, get, well, I drew the black line here? This black line right here go, comes from a trace that was broken. This is, uh, this particular board here is a, uh, was a high-powered uh, controller for my, one of my e-bikes, actually. And it burnt, you know, it burnt out. The trace got burnt. And when a trace burns, it, 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 it acts like a fuse. It, it just, you know, breaks the circuit. Of course, if the circuit breaks, uh, then uh, the, the, cyst, the whole component does, you know, doesn't work anymore. So you have to either get in there, you know, replace the trace or something like that. So today we want to show you, I'm just going to show you how you can replace a burnout trace. This trace right here is, was burnt out. It will broke loose. So I just cleaned it out a little bit. And as you see here, this is the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to head left here. It's supposed to go from here. A line it's supposed to come from here all the way around here. And went into this part here. This is a, a socket for like a, maybe like a power transistor or something like that. I'm not going to put a part in it. But I'm just going to show you how to repair the trace. So when, when I'm ready to put the part in, I can just do that. But today, I'm going to take something like a little bare wire here like this here. And I'm going to try to attach it to the remaining trace. Uh... And solder it in place. Then I'm going to continue to cross over to this part of the trace, solder it in place, and then clip off any excess. Um, I'm trying to think of something I might be forgetting to say here. I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh yeah, so like um, once that's done, the circuit should go back to functioning as normal. And um, you know, because the trace or track of it, you know, it's been it's been repaired. There's no more breaks in the circuit, so the circuit, you know, uh, energy can flow. So we're going to do that first. Now what I did so far, because I didn't want to make this video too long, uh, I went ahead and scraped away uh, down to the brass. As you notice this board looks green? Well, that's because of this coating that's got on it's green. When you, um, when you, um, uh, you know, um, make a clad board or etching, that it's all usually copper color. And, you know, uh, this coating is put on there to protect the copper uh, coating that's etched into a pattern that here. So... Anyway, I, etched, I, I scraped away all this little green stuff, coating off the, the, the um, uh, what's this track that wasn't burnt out, so I had some connect to. So I'm going to connect, try to connect some, just connect some wire from, from the point to a clean spot there, onto this point right here, which is a clean spot, and then we're going to complete that circuit. So, um, that's what we're going to get started. First, I'm going to turn on my starter gun. I'm going to get that heated up, and I'll be right back. Okay, in this clip I'm going to show you how I want to attach this bare wire to the first contact of, of the broken trace area. I'm just going to put a little solder there. I'm going to put it right on the trace that is clean, that I cleaned already. And I'm just going to try to attach it with the, with the solder, of course. Let's see, I'm going to turn my... I'm going to turn my gun up a little bit. I think it's too low. Yep, it's too low. I'm going to turn the heat up just a least little bit. Let me bring it up a little more. It's not heating up the element. Uh, and then we're going to solder it. Try to solder it. Uh, the iron kind of cooled off. 
before I knew it. So, I'm going to try this again. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to try to... I pretend this um, this, cop, this piece of copper wire here make it easier to get it on there. Let me see if it'll work. Alright, that's one end. And then I'm simply going to connect the second end as well to the other part of the brake, which is... Uh, which is up here. Let me see. I hope you guys can see this. It's a very awkward angle for me. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, that's in there. That's on there. Now, let me try to make sure it's not like crossing over anything. What I plan to do, I plan to take some, some uh, enamel, you know, and just paint over this so the trace doesn't, you know, short out with nothing else. Now let's test that trace out, see how it works. Um, I'm going to try it out. Remember, if the trace is working, it's going to sound like this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put from point A to point B. So now that trace is, is repaired. I'm going to remember at first, we couldn't, it wouldn't make a sound. When we when touch this point and this point, it wouldn't make a sound at all. But because I put a new trace inside using a piece of copper wire, the trace is now complete and this device is, is now usable. And I can put it back into a shell. Okay. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. I know it's quick, just a quick, short little video on how to go about, you know, repairing your your um, your traces. You know, whenever you get a break, if you burn out something, if, you know, something's not working that's electronic, and you want to know what, and you don't really see any parts on top that's showing anything, any kind of burn marks or anything like that, no capacitors broken or anything like that. Mainly just turn it over and, and just take a magnifying glass and just look at the traces. Follow the traces make sure they are complete. If you see one broken, like the one we had here before I started, you, you're going to need to clean it up um, and then solder in a piece of artificial trace, which is a piece of a bare wire from point A to point B. And that's all you should need to do. Alright, so I hope this uh, video has been uh, educational. I hope it kind of helps somebody out there. They might be wondering how to repair a trace. Um, uh, so that is it for now. I'll see you guys next time.